In SOLIDWORKS 2014, we've seen some nice additions to the mate functionality. We'll go into SOLIDWORKS 2014 and have a look at those now. The first improvement that I want to draw your attention to is regarding smart mates. Now in previous releases, if I held the Alt key and dragged a component, it would snap to the various things that I was hovering over, which is good, but at the same time, it could be tricky when placing a component because it would be flipping its orientation as you were dragging it. In SOLIDWORKS 2013, we introduced a pause um, to stop this from happening. In 2014, we've introduced a slider which allows us to control the SmartMate sensitivity. Okay, so where it's fast, it's going to behave as it did before. Where it's slow, we should see a pause. So if we do the same thing again here, we'll see that as I'm hovering, it's not changing its orientation until I pause on a reference and then it snaps into place. If we go into the Move Component tool, there is actually an option within here to add SmartMate. Now the way it works is you just double click one reference and then double click a second and it will SmartMate into place. It will ask you to confirm your mate and new to 2014 we now have the option to lock the rotation of cylindrical components uh, which are mated concentrically. Now the SmartMate tool was always available within the Move Components. Uh, where we've changed this is where we now have the ability to have uh, it as an icon in its own right on a toolbar. So it's no longer hidden. We'll just go ahead and put that on now. So if we go to our command search and I just search for that tool, you'll see here that I can drag and drop that onto a toolbar wherever I feel, feel that it should go. Okay, just looking at this assembly again, we're going to make uh, one of these edges. So if we go in, the, in a sort of typical way, we'll select the edge, we'll go to our mate tool, and then select the edge that we want to mate it to. Now, in this instance, uh, a coincident mate can't be achieved. Uh, it would over-define the assembly. But a parallel can. Now, in previous releases, it would have sold as coincident and over-defined the assembly. Now, the default mate behavior is just switch to parallel. We'll also mate the cylindrical faces here together concentrically. And another change in default behavior is when you're mating an axis. In previous releases, if I was to mate an axis to a cylindrical face, it would have mated coincident. This didn't really make too much sense. Now they've changed the default mate behavior to concentric. The mate dialog toolbar now is consistent with other um, property managers. You'll find that you can keep it visible or, or not using the pish pin. Typically in previous releases, this would have stayed visible. The next enhancement we see is the quick mate toolbar. So as I control select two cylindrical faces and release the control key, I don't actually have to go into the mate tool here. I have a quick mate toolbar which allows me to very quickly generate the mates that I want. So some really nice changes there to the mate functionality. If we switch to another assembly, we'll have a look at the improvements made in spheres. So we could make two spheres tangent to each other. We could make a sphere tangent to a planar surface or planar or a plane. We can make a sphere tangent to a cylindrical surface. We could also make a sphere tangent to a conical surface. So that sphere is mated to that conical surface there tangentially. Now we'll just go ahead and make that sphere concentric like so. And we'll have a look at what we can do in 2014. So in 2014, it's now possible to mate a sphere tangent to non-planar geometry, including parabolic edges, non-planar surface, we can mate the sphere tangent to a toroidal surface, or alternatively this spool shape. And last off, 
you can make a sphere tangent to any one of these sketch entities that you see here. So a circle, an ellipse, a conic, a spline, or even a 3D spline. Okay, last example that I want to look at here is the slot mate. So when creating a, a slot mate, which is a, a new tool in 2014, um, we, the slot needs to be of equal radius at the ends. And for a straight slot, the sides need to be parallel. For a radial slot, they need to be concentric. If we just go ahead and make these together using the slot mate, which is found in mechanical mates. You can define the position of um, screw in this case, either three to move along the slot, uh, we can center it within the slot, or we can specify a distance or percentage along the slot where we have a, a numerical value that we can control and we can flip that, that dimension also. So for this one, we'll leave that one as three. Whole faces are, are okay to select for the slot mate as well. We'll perhaps put that one in the center. And axes are fine as well. We'll perhaps have that distance along the slot. It's also possible to make slots to slots. So if we select both of those slots there, just go ahead and make those. Go to mechanical mates. You'll see that when I make those together, we behave, we create this behavior. So one slot can completely move within the bounds of another. This is also supported with radial slots. So that's what we have here. And then if we just bring this screw in, we have this screw slot mated to both radial slots. So the behavior we get is this. So it's almost as if it's contacting one slot uh, moving along with it and then stopping on the other. So again, that would have been very difficult to create in, in SOLIDWORKS 2013 or previous. You can also see here that we can apply a slot mate on a, rec uh, on a cylindrical surface. And just to finish off with what's not supported. So as I said earlier, the slot needs to be rounded at both ends. It can't be open and it has to be it has to have either parallel sides or concentric sides. So if we just switch back to the PowerPoint, we'll just go over what we saw there. So we now have a SmartMate sensitivity toolbar. We can place the SmartMate tool on a toolbar. We've changed the default mate behavior. So we have parallel if coincident is available and we can make concentric access to cylinder by default. We can pin our mate dialog box. We have a quick mate toolbar and we can lock rotation for concentric. With sphere mates, uh, we can make tangent to non-planar surfaces, edges and sketches. And with the slot mate, the slot needs to have parallel or concentric sides and equal radiuses on each end. And we can position our component in the slot uh, based on free in the center or a position. We can all make we can also make slots to slots. We'll now move on to Ed for patterns.